Okay, Siren also provide a way to improve uh, function development using profiling information. So as usually you can access uh, using function profiler on the extra menu or directly uh, inside here. Uh, as usually the idea is to clear the table before we enter because we never know how long we have recorded something and we run again the software from here. We run few VBL and we stop. Okay, so this time uh, what we have here is the list of functions uh, currently called by the application and we can see we have a draw man sprite, wait for VBL and so on. Uh, this time not all the functions are available but only the top one. So if I want to see something, <clears throat> what I know is I have a draw man sprite function at this location, if I double click once again I can see the disassembly process, but this time what I know is um, he has four sub function. Okay, so this one is calling uh, four other functions. If I want to enter in the tree of call, I simply go in that direction. And now I know that my draw man sprite function, which is the top one, is calling four sub function. Okay, and this one at the end doesn't have any other sub function. Okay, so what I can see here is I have uh, four sub function. They have been this function has been called 120 times, and the total number of cycle is that one, and the percentage uh, is this one. The average total number is that one. So I can go and navigate by depth. Uh, so I can go back at the top. Wait for VBL also as two sub functions. This time, what I see is the wait for stop func wait for spot function, which itself doesn't have any sub function, but of course, as we have seen before in the statistics, uh, we touch the interrupt function uh, in that one. If I want to have a better view, I can also ask not to display the interrupt function. So I want to keep the pure function, the one I call myself. So basically, uh, wait for key action doesn't have any sub function. Wait for key VBL has uh, two. So basically, it's only a wait for spot. Uh, and draw man sprite as the four we know. Okay. okay, so uh, let's enter the code, uh, the program, a little bit deeper just to know uh, <clears throat> what we get. So this time we start the game itself just to go a little bit deeper in the code function. So they fight a little bit, okay, and we, we exit. We can stop. We wait uh, to empty the queue, and now what we have is a new entry. Of course, we still have the same function than before, but we have a little bit more. We have play game, okay? Uh, and now play game. If we leave the total percentage of cycle, I has 65% because 65% of what we do was probably inside the play game, and we have four sub functions. So we go inside, and here we see that play game uh, has some initialized stuff test if the joystick is here but only call once okay and uh, we play level which has nearly 90 percent of, of the of this of the time of this function we enter the play play level and play level has much more to offer so we can see we have some uh, loading music background fade out and so on and we have the sprite engine itself which takes uh, 27 of sub function so this time we can ins go inside every time we have the total number of cycle of the current function and the percentage of usage of all the sub functions so this time sprite engine consume 90 percent uh, of the time of the play level so we enter the sprite engine and here once again a new set of function with cl uh, clear collision table and so on <clears throat> i can remove automatically the interrupt if needed and you can see that most of the interrupt is linked uh, to the play of sound because we have interrupt to feed uh, the doc RAM uh, within the software. Uh, from here, I can save this tree because every time I need to navigate, I can navigate back. Of course, I can navigate uh, force uh, if I want to go back to my uh, sprite engine where I was. And at any level, I can save uh, this as a tree. So let's do that, function profiler. Here we end up with a function profiler text. And here what we see is a tree function. So sprite engine, which is here, 
is calling the clear uh, collision table function, also calling this one and so on. And now what we see is build overlap table is calling that one and so on. So draw spy by index, spy by index is calling this one. Uh, we can see that the opponent read one AE move call a sum function like backup sprite info plus get move and so on. So here you have a tree of all the function uh, and the sub function of, of the software. Okay, if we look at the number we have here, this is the number of times the function has been called. This is the number uh, of cycle uh, take by uh, the function itself and the total number of, of cycle take by the sub function. So build collision table is probably doing something by, it, by itself, uh, 400,000 uh, cycle and called uh, also the get collision uh, score function. And the cost of this one is uh, the total cost is uh, 4,900 uh, cycle because this, which is the sum of these two ones, which is itself uh, co called a sub function name uh, compute receive line score, which is consume uh, the same number we, we find here. So here we have a clear view of what the software is doing, uh, which function is called uh, at level, the fade out function, for example, uh, call of course the wait for VBL, which itself calls the wait for spot. If we decide to include uh, the interrupt, uh, we can save again as a tree, and in this time, uh, it will be a little bit different because uh, we will see uh, where the uh, ERQ function takes place. Uh, sometime we have seen ERQ, uh, for example, taking uh, place in the fade out. Uh, the wait for VBL, waiting for spot takes a lot of time, and so we get our famous. Uh, ERQ VBL calling at the end how increment VBL counter. So up to you to enable or disable uh, the view of interrupt part. It's interesting to say that, for example, the ERQ is linked to the play sound, of course, because this is where we refill uh, the, the music in the doc RAM, while the ERQ VBL is most of the time called uh, linked to the fact that we wait for the spot for uh, many times. So the idea is to find which function takes the more cycle. Once again, uh, we can delete one function if we want to see uh, more in terms of percentage, if we want to get to get rid of some of them. You can navigate in the tree uh, and find which function consume uh, the most in terms of number of call, number of sub cycle, number of function, and so on. That's it for the profile.